everyone, welcome to another video. So today we are going to make something and can you guess what it is? Because I'm holding a giant jar of pickles. Um, so we're gonna make dill pickle soup. So I know it sounds weird, but trust me, I have made this before and everybody loved it. These are actually my favorite pickles. These are Strub's full sour pickles. So good, these are the best, but you can make it with any dill pickle. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with is frying up some onions in a pot. So if you're wondering why I'm using a hot plate, it's because my oven broke. So it broke last week. So I'm getting it uh, tomorrow. So I have a hot plate here, nice and hot. And I'm gonna put a little olive, well, olive oil or any oil, you can put whatever. I have one big onion chopped up. Just let that. Our onions are translucent, or actually, mine aren't even ready yet. We're gonna go ahead and put in some vegetable broth. Oh, whoops. If you don't have vegetable broth, you can use one of these little bouillon cubes and put some. Um, actually, instead of water though, we're gonna put some coconut milk, which you know I do cook a lot with this, and it gives it makes it so creamy. This particular brand, I'll just tell you. The only two ingredients is coconut extract, it says 60% and water. So it's very hard to find this because all the other places, all the other coconut milk has a whole bunch of ingredients in it. And one of them I think is called guar gum. Like, I don't know, but I don't want gum in my soup, so. Once the coconut milk is in, just let it get to a boil. Then we're gonna put in, the coconut milk is up back up to a boil, just add in a cup of chopped potatoes. These are actually gonna thicken the soup. I know some people like to put flour or cornstarch, but the potatoes itself is gonna be what's gonna be thickening it, which is the potato starch. So just stir that up and we'll put a lid on it. And let that simmer until the potatoes are cooked. Potatoes are soft and cooked and tender. You can pierce them with a fork. You're just gonna get a masher while it's still, actually we'll just lower it to medium, low to medium. And we're just gonna take a masher and we're actually just gonna try to mash this up because this is really gonna thicken up your soup. It doesn't have to be a perfect mash. You want it to be a nice hearty soup. Well, I do anyways. Who wants to have a thin watery soup, right? So, I'll show you when I'm done mashing this. I'm not mashing it completely, but it does help thicken it. You can see how much, how thick it is already. We haven't added anything else. Let me show you. So after it's a little bit mushy and you can easily tell that the soup is thick, um, we're gonna keep it, I guess put it back up a bit. We're gonna put in uh, one chopped carrot. And I had two small celery stalks, but they are organic, so it's probably the equivalent of a regular one. And then the secret ingredient. This is our secret ingredient. And we are going to put, secret ingredient is dill pickle juice. We're gonna put a cup of dill pickle juice. So I'm gonna see if I can easily, oh yeah. So I got a cup, dump that in. It's gonna be so good. And while we, well, first let's do the stir. Mmm. All right, so now we're gonna put in some other ingredients here, which I have all right here. All right, so we're gonna put a little thyme in. And I have it back up to high because those carrots and celery have to cook. So we're just gonna put a little bit in. Really depends on how much soup you're making. Putting in a little basil. Another secret ingredient, which is smoked paprika, which if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of this. This kicks it up another notch, so good. We're gonna add some turmeric. You really won't taste this, but it does give it a nice um, kind of curry kind of color and it's super good for you. Dill weed, which we're also adding pickles to it, but just add a little bit of that, and a little bit of oregano. All right, so give that a stir. It's 
So just let these carrots and celery cook. We'll just put the lid back on and now we're going to chop up um, three pickles. So I added three pickles, chopped. You can add more or less if you'd like. So we'll go and give that another stir. You could definitely tell it's thickening up a lot. I'm gonna add a little more smoked paprika, just because I don't think I put enough. Drop down the heat down to medium and take the lid off so that way we're not adding extra liquid from the condensation by keeping the lid on. So we're just waiting for that carrots and celery to cook. But in How good does that look? Oh my god, it's steaming up the camera. <laughs> it smells even better. Just wanted to say too, don't add any salt to this. We did have the vegetable broth, those little bouillon cubes, so that has salt in it. And also the dill pickle and the brine also has tons of salt. So you do not need to add salt. Trust me, it's gonna be flavorful enough. Very quick meal. It's a one pot meal. So this should take less than 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna check the carrots. I think it's still very hard. Yeah. So definitely crank it up a bit so that they can cook a little more. And I'm going to tidy up. Almost ready, um, but I do love to add some greens whenever I can. So I have a kale, chard, and spinach mix. So I'm just going to add some in. As you know, it's going to wilt down and it's just going to give it a nice green look to it. I seriously add greens whenever I can. This is a nice hearty soup and also it's very different. I don't think a lot of people have had dill pickle soup. And it's actually vegan. Surprise, surprise, everything I make is vegan. Which my son's not gonna mind. He's a huge dill pickle fan. And he's going to love this. He loved it the first time I made it, like years ago. Haven't made it very often. But I know he's going to love it. My husband, on the other hand, not a fan of dill pickle, so which is perfect because he's actually working out of town today, so he won't be home for dinner. So that's why I figured I'll make something that just my son can enjoy. And but it is enough. Probably for three or four bowls anyway. Already, so you can see how thick it is. So now I'm just gonna get my huge bowl here. So it's definitely a hearty soup, like I said. And this is really all you need. You could serve it with something else. I'm gonna actually just top it with a little dill pickle chopped up, a little more dill weed you can never have too much and also I have these little crispy fried onions just gonna put a little bit on here they said they seem to go so nicely with soup not sure why and now's the taste test oh got some of the greens dangling hopefully it's not gonna go on my chin So good, especially with the cayenne. Good thing I remembered to add that because I feel like you need flavor all the time. But the dill pickle, it's such a unique flavor to have in a soup. You really have to try it. Leave a comment below if you did like the video or if you end up trying it and how you liked it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.